three and two and one, 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 one. let's get started shall i and joe how you doing you doing well Alex. how you doing i'm doing pretty good um oh i'm just gonna start recording you know this this can be considered a video this could be considered uh you know just a conversation but we're gonna read stuff to a third person and that third person is the viewership so you know it's still gonna be a video but so Isaiah 14 11 hell from beneath thee is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming it stirs up the dead for thee even all the chief ones of the earth and it raises up their thrones all the kings of the nations I think people always forget about this part. It further says, Your pump is brought down to the grave in the noise of thy viols, thy music. The worm is spread under thee, through thee, in thee. We go to Daniel. No, wait, 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 before we do this, we're going to go over to Revelation. We go to Revelation 1, and again, here in 5, the dead kings of the earth. Every biblical-minded person that acts like they're teaching you anything, they want to take two words from, from the Old Testament, and then we'll match it to the New Testament and say, hey, I got two hours to talk to you on these two verses. They'll never talk to you about the kings of the earth and this prince. What does it say? The first begotten of the dead, the prince of the kings of the earth. When you scroll down to 18, I hold the keys to hell and to death. Ladies and gentlemen, there are two different Jeepers, okay? One Jeepers Creepers is of the grave. Isaiah addresses him directly. The other is the anointed Messiah. Again, let me go back here. Isaiah, hell from beneath his mood, right? The stirred up the dead, the kings of the earth. That's the same kings. That's the same kings of the earth that are in hell. That's not the high priest. This is very evident when we go to Daniel chapter 9, and it tells us in verse 26 and 27 exactly what we're dealing with. But we have to understand the 70 weeks is the rulership of Lucifer's family. Hallel, Shakar, or Venus, or Mary, and Apollo, or Apollyon, or Abaddon. Now, as we just go down here and read, but after three score and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, that's the anointed but not for himself and the people of the prince, the prince of the kings of the earth that are dead in hell, and the people of the prince shall come and destroy the city and the sanctuary, and the end thereof shall be a flood unto the end of the war. Desolations are determined. What the, can that even mean? You've got to understand what the Lucifer family truly is. And we go back, it tells us very simply, the worm covereth thee. The worm covereth thee. So, when we look in Isaiah again, and in 14, remember, this is the new king of kings in hell right but he's the prince of kings and he's the host of hosts 
etymologically we are hosts now that says what do we host now it's very simple hell from beneath is moved to greet thee the king right it raised up the thrones of the kings of the earth now since the kings of the earth are in hell there's no kings on the earth anymore and it says the worms spread under thee the worms cover thee now remember these are the people of the prince as it says in daniel now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and it says parasite cleanse now we've been discussing parasite cleanse the problem is most people are not slender with parasites most people are overweight with parasites now what does an overweight person have to do to get rid of parasites and now we are going to read and give us one second all right here's how to get parasites out of your body fast and naturally get the parish get the protocol and other strategies for a parasite cleanse a period of time when you consume specific anti-parasitic herbs and foods that will kill that kill parasites and remove them from your body parasites are actually a, um, incredibly common if you have already considered getting a parasite test to do understand to better understand which parasites you may be dealing with or get a comprehensive skin test to test for parasites bacteria protozoa and other this is one this is the one i got okay so when you click on this it takes you to a uh parasite uh place there's a place in new york where you poop and then you send it to them you can do it on the spot or you can send it in the mail and it's a lab it gives a gi test your gut right and then it's uh 469 dollars for this one right there other ones are a little bit cheaper but it goes over i thought it was 300 when i looked on the phone anyway um and then it goes down the list of of gmi map stool now I, people should look at this uh because it goes over all these different types of toxins and again the bacterial pathogens that might be in you potentially disease causing no they're lying what they're doing is either even finding the eggs or they're finding what these things secrete like the poop that's why you know one of the uh, uh sugars that they artificial sugars they use is a fucking is a poop from these things right so they can tell you if you have e coli uh cloister something right shinga well, which would be like shingles right enter toxigens right uh da, 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 goes down the list of the different types viral from bacterial to viral to parasitic pathogens why are they calling these all pathogens and here gives you the fucking count of your normal gut bacteria per poop all right so this is what this person did he basically roughly spent you know 500 bucks to know what was going on inside of his gut Please continue. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we usually get parasites from eating or drinking contaminated food or water, especially in third world countries. But because parasites have evolved to live inside living beings, they are really they really do try to keep a low profile. So we often don't even know we have them until they start causing problems. That's when a parasite test or parasite cleanse start to become a really good idea hold on right there so this states that we eat uh contaminated food or water right period that's exactly what's going on our food and our water is contaminated what i'm going to be calling this is the commercialization of the worm 
That is that's just going to be the, the main title. The people of the prince has commercialized the worm. Now, you pick any of these words that they want to use. Culture, enzyme, yeast. Those are, are, are what? Those are blanket words to cover what's really going on. What they're doing is selling you products that are created by the enzyme. Again, I can type in this, this artificial sugar that is the poop of parasites, and it will tell you. I, I, so if, if artificial sugar is a product, then you can understand sugar from parasite. Ah, poop. So, so we looked it up before. It was, it's not that easy. All right, listen, people. You see, I done typed it in every which way. Now I had to type it in sugar made from parasite poop saturated, and I had to add the wrong word, and then it increased biofilm formation of E. coli. So it's E. coli. So E. coli is a parasite. So you have to t take E. dot coli. Ridiculous for it to tell you the truth now. All right, they then took the open truth off. Now you got to take saturate now. And it gives us aspartame. Well, again, we put saturate in. That's when it comes up with aspartame. It fucking big, big bold paragraph. Take saturate off. Right, saturn has nothing to do with that paragraph. Where'd the paragraph go? You see, you see, look, the goddamn government uh, fucking lackey has to watch every goddamn video that we produce, and then they go back and what? Why won't they fucking? They're not knocking on this goddamn door. They're not affecting the video. They're affecting the public information. No, no, Negro, you're just. You're just making shit up. Uh, calm down. Stop yelling. Type in some more stupid shit. Being faceless, agent. So I tell you, it's right, right? Fucking aspartame. That's that shit from E. coli, which is what. <laughs> They say it's a virus. Hmm? So, you know, that's not a parasite. Okay, by the end, I'm going to show you that all viruses are parasites. I can show you now, and I'm just you know, wasting a boom card. And then I've got to cut into what I'm teaching now to go teach you about viruses because you're all out of school. Why didn't they teach you of any of this shit in school? Well, they did. They told you. They taught you a fucking uh, a, a, a weaver version, a handicapped version, a mentally challenged version. Well, let's just scrub all this shit out. I was gonna title this: Why are there no melanated people? Why are there no Afro people in the medical field? Not as nurses, silly. <laughs> Go ahead, man. You wanna keep going? All right. When I took the GI on that stool test, I learned that I had a parasite called that one. Blastocystis hominis. So he has cysts. And we're, what is blastocysts? So anybody that has cysts, especially, uh, how do you say if you're born with them, your, your parents gave them, gave, gave it to you? Like, that's a parasite, born when you were born. Here we go, bio, cystis, watery or loose stool, diarrhea, abdominal pain, anal itching, weight loss, constipation. You see the opposites of this, constipated, but I got diarrhea, so I can't shit because I got worms in my belly, right? And excessive gas, that's all the worms fucking farting at once, then you fart. Right. Have been reported in persons, right, with bioplastic infection. Now, what is that? 
because they, they, they just said symptoms. It changed what I wanted. Let's just take that out and say, what is that? So that was the symptoms. And what is this? The bioplast is a microscopic single cell organism. That's okay. That lives in the digestive tract. Okay. Is it supposed to? Oh, okay. Here we go. And belonging to the strem, stramen, straw, men, old piles. That includes algae, diotene. So he got some goddamn fucking uh, waterborne illness. And that's what. And several species living in the gastral tracts of humans, as, uh, species as diverse as humans, includes farm animals, birds, rodents. Okay, so. What does it do in the body? See here, to tell you it ain't supposed to be in your body. Many people with this in their stool have no symptoms at all. However, we just read the page of symptoms. However, in those that do report symptoms, most common are diarrhea, abdominal pain, and vomiting. Symptoms, anal itching. That is so creepy, right? You just got to scratch your asshole. So let's say, how many species do we see in in life trying to scratch their asshole? <laughs> let's see, do we ever see the squirrel g crawling across the carpet dragging its ass? No, 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 we've never seen a squirrel do that. Have we ever seen a raccoon crawling around on the carpet trying to scratch his ass? So let's cut to the jump. This is what we see household pets do, right? Cats planting their anus against your carpet and dragging it, right? So that's how you're gonna get those eggs on your feet. We've all seen dogs pull themselves across the carpet, scratching their ass with the carpet. If you haven't, welcome to the world. It's been three days since you removed yourself from out of that rock. How is the sunlight treating you? So, there, you see what's going on. We're going to get this game going. How does bioplasto, blastocystis get in humans? First off, it's a hominis. Let's say, okay, computer, tell me what the hominis is. Right? Oh, that's hummus, right? Or... It's a hominid that was eating hummus, right? And so they say, they're not even going to tell me what that is. What does hummus mean, right? Man, human being, right? So if I hummin, hummin, hominis, it's, you see right there, if you add a goddamn D, it's a great ape. So you see, what the fuck? It's a primate. We don't live where do monkeys scratch their ass on stuff? No, monkeys got long hands. They can just reach back and just do the thing themselves. And you see it all this about anal itch and shit like this is it's clear that it's gonna lead to sodomy. No, I'm not saying people get this from so sodomy. Look where it is, it's from the hominid family of great apes, orangutans, gorillas, chimpanzees. And humans, not man, humans. Who online is saying I want to marry a dog? Who online is saying I want to marry a tree? This ain't hard. It's embarrassing. And people don't want to deal with embarrassment. So again, how do you get this in you? How do you how do you catch? How do you how do you receive? Through food water or contact with human or animal feces shit poop has to touch your mouth you have to eat it so what this guy is saying is somehow i ate people shit or animal shit you already see that shit they have nothing to do with 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 with, with, with what you would think they it gave you primate what is primate? It's a fucking apex predator, right? You get this from fucking with apex predators. Something, some 
buddy, right? Man or human was fucking with an apex predator in the wrong way. It doesn't matter if it's sexually. It don't matter if it's food-wise. It don't matter if they had some open food and can primate form some shit. It don't matter. They ate it. And it happens constantly all throughout the world. This is nothing new. When I when I sit there and say, hey, percentage of humans that have this shit, percentage, right? Let's say, excuse me, we should say percentage. Bioplast hominids are found worldwide and the prevalence in some studies as high as 58% and generally exceeding that of other organisms. So, let me make sure I get this right. I only infect Sean percentage. Worldwide, 58%. 58% of people have either had sex for the primate practicing sodomy or their food has been infected you the viewer you have the choice here I we're in a nation that don't really have monkeys so the idea yeah, everybody here is a monkey effort yeah it don't really stick to it but 58% of the people had their food infected by primate shit that would make sense now you have to ask yourself a question huh how does it get in the food all right so I'm going to click back on this uh, site and I'm going to read the title and Joe's going to keep reading and the title is the people of the print and commercialize the worm. Okay, so, oh, wait, before we do this, it would only make sense to go right back to that word. And we should ask like, the, the simplest of questions. Is it a parasite? And so right there, it already comes up as a parasite. It's a microscopic parasite that lives in your digestive tract. The worms cover you. The worm is your bed. The worm is your cover. The worms go through you. They are in your fucking gut. When they break the blood barrier, they go wherever the fuck they want in your body based on what minerals are produced versus what catches those minerals. Every fruit that is created by the most high for us to thrive from has sugar in it, then nobody in the world should have diabetes. Because if every fruit has sugar, then your body already has the way, the means to break down the sugar. Now, if you have some kind of parasite inside your body eating that mineral that's, that is released to break down the sugar, because these parasites, they eat vitamins and minerals, and once there's no more vitamin, they eat the receptor. Now, ready? Yep. <clears throat> what is a parasite cause? A parasite cause is a set period of time where you consume specific, um, specific anti-parasitic herbs and cools to kill the parasites and remove them from your body. How long the cleanse lasts for depends on how many parasites you have, how intensive they become, and how how able your body and immune system are to help you eliminate the parasites. Excuse me. Some parasites, some quick protocols might be as short as ten days, but again, whether or not these short protocols work for you depends on your unique situation. What do you, what to do in a parasite? <laughs> you have a, you have parasites, you basically need to remove the eggs, larvae, and adult parasites in a way that is minimal, be harmful to you. But does, what does that mean? Well, it 
means that you need to kill the parasites at, at all life stages at, at the same time, but not too harshly. However, when um, when some parasites die, they produce toxins, which can be harmful to you, so you actually don't want to kill them too quickly. At the same time, you need to stay on top of them so they don't um, reproduce. It's a fair balance. Depending on how many parasites you have, and how hard they are to kill, you may need to take pills or for many weeks or even many months. Personally, I, would, I was able to clear a difficult case of parasites in three months. I didn't retest, but my symptoms were going, and I do uh, follow up every few months now just in case they try to come back. So I start with. All right. So uh, hold on a second. So again, we uh, those of you that were listening to what I suggested, uh, I took a two week cleanse. Again, this person is saying some people it might take two weeks. Some people it's going to take longer, many months. He's saying himself in this writing, it took him three months. Now. He said he's, he's going to make these statements uh, based around he doesn't know how long he's going to have to take them when he first started buying all this stuff. Now, off of his suggestions, we're going to look at what he bought based on his case. Now, again, this isn't to insult you. I, 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 I need you to understand something. If you have saggy skin, if your skin is not tight, that is because if you have bulges, that's because there is something in you. You saw me bring up the images of the stomach being cut open. What they even do. better, like even better. It isn't like you said. It's not against no one. Everyone has parasites. Let's just be real. Everybody eats something that they shouldn't have one time in their life. Some people still eat stuff that they shouldn't have every day. We all need to get ourselves clean. A lot of people don't even think about ways to clean their body. Some people don't even think that that's possible, like realistically, but it's no different than how we maintain vehicles and put the right gas and cars and stuff. We need to know how to take care of ourselves. Yeah, we are a unique um, form of life and we can hold worms and other things inside of us if we don't take care of ourselves. And, and Lex has been screaming at it for about a month now. This is deeper than what we think. This is something spiritual. Um, this is, you know, we need to be on top of this. So I would suggest people have a real open mind about all this. Because, like he said, one point or another, someone which we trusted in our lives said, this is good for us, or try this. As we go down the list, of product, especially on the food pyramid. The Most High gave us two things naturally. He gave us the fruits, he gave us the vegetables. Now, if you have an illness, you go to the hospital, they tell you this is what you're experiencing, and, and, and it turns out it's only a, a symptom, then they're not giving you the root cause. Now, I'm willing to sit here and fight, just like Sebi. And most of our illnesses, if not all of our illnesses, are all parasites. And you can show. I'm prepared to show you all throughout this. We're talking, I showed you Candida. Now we're going to look at HPV, warts. All these other things, they're, they're just parasites. It really is. Everything is parasites. Like Lex said, he's saving a boom card. But the real thing is, it's like this too. They, I realized it was all parasites. Um, studying this last month when I realized, like, um, when they said 
we um, have generational diseases and stuff. Once I learned, once I learned that um, eczema is a parasite, and then they say the mother has eczema and the child born with eczema, and that's just parasites being passed down. That's how they predicting what's going to happen to us. If all of these diseases is parasites, diabetes, and all of this type of stuff. What you think is going on? It's bigger than it's this big farmer. This 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 stuff that is next level type stuff. This all. This past the, the sleep people stuff. People need to really wake up. People of the prince and the commercialization of the worm. AKA how to cure some shit. Let's go. You ready? Yeah. So, so number one with the um with the uh products hurt kill parasites with wormwood carefully. Wormwood is incredibly potent anti parasite anti-worm herb <clears throat> please read all precautions on wormwood here apparently some types of wormwood can be can cause health problems and call and should not be taken by people who are pregnant okay so basically it's like this wormwood comes with a uh an agent inside of it okay and that agent what happens is is when it breaks down it can play on your nervous system. Wormwood is a herb and above ground plant and oil used for medicines. Wormwood is used for various digestion problems such as loss of appetite, upset stomach, gallbladder disease, blah, 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 blah. Uh, wormwood is also used to treat fever, liver disease, worm infections, and this is what we're talking about, to increase sexual desire as a tonic and to stimulate Sweating. The oil for digestive per in manufacturing, wormwood is used as fragrance and alcoholic preferences removed. Now, this is the problem right here. Wormwood contains a chemical called thrugion, th 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 and which it cites, it excites the central nervous system. However, it can also cause seizures and other adverse effects. So it has to do with how it's uh, kept, I think. I forgot. Uh, it, 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 why? Uh, don't see him. Oh, that's it right there. Yeah, I forgot why. Um, but it's basically uh, how it's dried or something of that nature. If it's used, if alcohol is used, it brings out. Uh, oh, here it is. Maybe, maybe this is it. No, that's not it. No, that's, that's not the part. Uh, let me read. It's likely safe taken by mouth in amounts, in amounts commonly found in food and beverages, including bitters and vermouth, as long as the product is thrugion free. And this is the whole point. Wormwood that contains thrugion is possibly unsafe when it is taken by mouth. It can cause seizures, muscle breakdown, kidney failure, restlessness, difficult sleeping, uh, nightmares, vomiting, stomach cramps, dizziness, tremors. I've never heard of anything that causes goddamn nightmares. That is some shit. So, obviously, the <laughs> fucking, uh, the, 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 the alcohol in the surgeon affects the worm, and then the worm is still connected to your uh inhibitions and uh uh you know because again it, it 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 excites you right so when it's still connected to the nervous system it gives you nightmares <laughs> so which is terrible which is terrible um so let's let's keep that in mind uh here it tells you for pregnancy warnings that uh don't take more than you would use on food. You know, like you sprinkle salt on food. This is the amount of salt. You don't use a whole teaspoon of salt for, for one meal. So this is the, the point that they're trying to make. Throzone might affect the uterus and endanger the pregnancy and also avoid topical wormwood since not enough is known uh, uh, to apply it directly to the skin. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't agree with that myself. Um, I'm gonna, this, this site 
you, you, everybody can read it for themselves. Wormwood is in a lot of your products already. You should understand that. But it's not in enough to kill anything. It's just, it's in enough for show. My wife pointed out that wormut, wormut needs to be defined. The defini definition of wormut is surprising. French word. Oh, where does it mean? What is? I have to look on the phone to see what, how to, which, which way to type it in correctly, to see the actual truth. Uh, one second. It should be. Oh, oh, there it is, right there. I don't know how she typed it in. Oh, meaning. Let's see if meaning gives it to us. No, it does not. What is the German word? In? No, it does not. Okay, so everybody look close. You don't have a choice. I just pulled this up to All right, so I hold it up until the light goes away. Observer. 16th century mind preserver okay that's where oh it's where mode where mode means mind preserver this is how much they influence your thoughts and you're, as you as you saw if you take wormwood it, you will get, regain your sex drive <laughs> so again i told you eczema is this and it's just a worm right and then again what group of people are sitting there using viagra you know so we're moat with an e oh i put meaning yeah i put me they just they won't even give it to it this is page from a book. Oh, it's, under, it's under Wormwood, but that's where they hide it. It's hidden under Wormwood. So now we'll go back, and I'm going to close this second one out. We got a blind freeze. <coughs> Again, people of the prince and the commercialization of the worm. All right, so one, the parasite, um, kill parasites with worm wood carefully. Worm wood is an incredibly potent anti-parasite, anti-worm herb. Uh, please read all the precautions on worm wood here. Apparently, some types of one wig can cause health problems and should not be taken by people who are pregnant. But wormwood is key to most home remedies for eliminating parasites. This is the bulk wormwood that I took and here is the pre wormwood pill. Uh, two clove to take clove to kill parasites, eggs. In addition to killing adult parasites, you want to make sure you kill parasite eggs or else you will just be um you'll just get reinfected so take clove powder at the same time as you as wormwood here's the clove powder in bulk and here's the pre-made clove pills pay, pay, pay attention people i'm showing you this shit on screen all right you see the date today today is the 21st Last purchase, July 20, 21st. I just bought this shit this morning. I'm, I'm not satisfied. I want to make sure this engine is running without extras. <laughs> I've, I've, we've already changed to fruits and vegetables. Joe, Joe done, you know, sent me, resent me this uh, PLU code thing. We'll go over to PLU code here at the end of this. Here's Wormwood. 
And he's buying this in bulk. He's buying his own capsules. So you just you 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 build your you, you build the capsules yourself. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then now we're gonna look at the third one. Now pay attention. The the wormwood kills the parasites, but it does not kill the eggs, and it does not kill them in the larvae state. So the wormwood kills the actual worm. The clove kills the eggs. And go ahead and continue. Three take black walnut hole. We take black walnut to kill um parasite larva. To kill parasite larva, be sure to take black walnut with wormwood and clove. There's the black walnut in bulk and the black walnut pre make pills. Four eat papaya seeds. When you eat the parasite eats. Um, so it's really helpful to eat antiparasitic foods with every meal. This this may this way they'll eat things that hurt them or they won't eat and you can speed along the process of killing them. Okay, hold on right there. So this is kinda interesting. This brings me into so, you know, I got this video I was watching, you know, and again people mistranslate the Bible, they say it, God gave man the earth for domination. And I'm like, no, he didn't. He gave those creatures in 1 in 27, the earth for domination. The Most High gave us the garden. And we ate from the trees that we were not supposed to, and we got kicked out into the world under the domination of whom? The creatures of 1 in 27. See, people... We was given the garden with fruits and vegetables. It say, I give you the seed to eat. What is, it says stuff after that too, but you got to pay attention to who he's talking to. If he gives us the seed to eat, we must understand everything the seed offers is where we get the minerals. Mm -hmm. And I, I want to bet, I, it's just to play with, you know, pick at people's brain. I notice if, if you look up every one of these things, I can almost guarantee almost this whole list is alkaline. Walking trees. Everything on the earth is in the shape inside of our body. The throat is the snake. The, the, the bicep is 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 the, is the is the jellyfish or the snail, however you want to look at it. We 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 have to understand. We are part of the righteous creation. We don't have no fucking legs like no beast. We 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 either want to see this or we don't. We want to understand the truth. We want to understand. Listen, man. Again, they're gonna keep on telling you all disease comes from acidic body. What does that mean? When you're naturally alkaline. You eat things that you're not supposed to. This is the people of the prince. They tempt you with food. You're sitting there thinking, oh, the devil tempted me with pussy and, and drugs. No, man. He's tempting you with fucking food. You're, you've been structured to call this thing the devil. It is Halel, Lucifer. Halel of the Lucifer family. He has been given this shit. It, the devil was spit out of the grave. This is the same person. This is their Jesus. Our Joshua can't save your soul. He's not your fucking God. He's not the son of God. He cannot fucking heal you. This is all the magical shit that they say about they Jesus. The Messiah from the branch of David is to come and what? Do Messiah shit. Lead the people from one location that they've been captive in to another. But y'all don't want to read shit. Excuse me. 
the world don't want to read shit. So everybody seems to know a lot of worldly shit that don't make sense based on what's actually written. The Most High gave us seed. And because we cry like bitches for meat, he then said these animals are clean and these are not. And this is why. But you don't want to read. I don't read the food laws just to tell you these are what the food laws are. We're sitting there telling you, don't eat this because this happens. Don't eat pig because of what? Parasite. Let's go down the list. It's just fucking the answer is going to be goddamn parasite each time. King of Kings, host of hosts. Don't eat this bird, because it fucking eats the fucking dead in the middle of the decay. There's what? Parasites. Go ahead. I hear you. All right. One thing parasites really hate is papaya seeds. So making papaya smoothies can be helpful. You just toss half of papaya in a blender, including all of the papaya seeds from that half of the papaya, and make and some orange juice or other juice to pin the smoothie drink it on an empty stomach. If you can't get papaya locally, you can get papaya seeds in bulk and then just add them to their smoothie. I'm not a huge fan of papaya, but in, but in my experience, this really worked, so I kept doing it until my parasites were gone. So five, eat pumpkin seeds. Another food parasite I hate is pumpkin seeds. Some, some snack on pumpkin seeds whenever uh, you're hungry. Pumpkin seed snacks are especially good because you be eating them on an empty stomach and the parasites won't have won't have other foods to eat, just pumpkin seeds. Six, use coconut oil. The most antibacterial, antiparasitic oil is coconut oil. So use coconut oil for cooking and baking when doing a parasite cleanse. Seven, take a probiotic. Um to keep your gut healthy and your gut and strong through all this, it's good to take a uh, potent probiotic. For example, you want something with uh, billions of CFUs, a probiotic that focuses on the most beneficial uh, strains. There are some that I took uh, that I like. SOB probiotics. Okay, well, let's stop there and go to the next part, but hold on for a second. I, uh, so when it says coconut oil, um, yeah, you uh, be good enough to get coconut water. Um, uh, a lot of people do their teeth cleanse with the coconut oil. Um, you are your own person. I suggest coconut water if you take what the information here, you take the information here, uh, meaning on screen. You know, I suggest this on screen. It says that. On the screen, it says take a probiotic. I, I do not suggest that, that at, at all. It tell you right here, beneficial strains. No, that's them fucking around underneath the microscope. I do not suggest taking any shit that they fucking make. Uh, what I do suggest is uh, natural fermentation of uh, sauerkraut, kimchi, and wine. Again. Study the wine. If if they make it through natural fermentation, again they put it in a barrel and it sits. And you know, again, that that's not. They did this to it. They did that to it. Uh, if you if you don't, you don't. Uh, dealing with uh, 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 sauerkraut. Um, there's one I suggest. It's Cleveland's. If you find it in the uh, in the cooler section of the grocery uh, of the uh, vegetable part, uh, comes in a little pack. Um, they got a good garlic one. They got a good kimchi one. Um, again, all sauerkraut is is vinegar being poured on cabbage, sealed and put on a shelf for 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 like six, three to six months, something like that. Again, 
what's produced out of that is natural. That is husbandry. Okay? Now you have different types of husbandry. You have vegetable husbandry. That's what we're talking about right now. You have fruit husbandry that gets you your wine. You have animal husbandry that gets you your food on your table. Okay? Now, what they are practicing is the husbandry of the worm. Husbandry is edibles, not fucking pets. Please understand. You, 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 you orphan train children, take goddamn names off things that it shouldn't be and stamp a shit on it, right? Okay, so remember that shit. Now, go ahead, Joe, how to start the cleanse. Okay. Now that you have your parasite pills and home remedies all set to go, it's time to plan out your parasite cleanse protocol. There are lots of different protocols that can work, but this is what I found worked for me. Um, it would be really helpful if you have a seven day pill box with sections for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or three regular seven-day pill boxes. Uh, because the protocol is complex, it requires that you take pills when, with every meal and increase your dosage across time. Setting out your pills beforehand will make it way easier to remember which day you're on and what time and, and what to do. <coughs> And ideally, you'll take your pills 20 minutes before a meal, three times per day, even if you don't have a full meal. For example, if you if you are more of a coffee and more of a coffee for breakfast kind of person, still take your pills three times a day. I set a reminder 20 minutes before meal time to keep your Self on track, and if you forget to take your pills or meal or meal time change for some reason, just take your pills before each before you eat in the beginning of your meal. Okay, hey, do me goes, a favor. Yeah, skip down to uh, your results, just a, a little bit lower, because that one is the gist of it. You know, if, if people want to get rid of this shit, they're gonna get rid of it. You know, the, 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 the trivial stuff is just just that trivial. Say your results. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Says you might. The, the thing is, you might feel a little queasy. Uh, the thing is, you might feel a little queasy from all of these pills if you, they are killing all parasites. Parasites don't want to die, and they uh, make their death known to you. But if you feel really ill, please stop. You you can have an allergy. Uh, alternatively, you may have a problem detoxifying your body of toxins that are coming from killing parasites. I provide some toxin clearing tips later on, but you should also consult a, a neuropathic doctor to help you identify if your neuro, um, your natural parasites cleanse is good. It's a good fit for you. Lastly, many people don't feel anything the first day. That's because parasites have life cycles. So if you, you only feel uh, queasy every few days, it's likely the pills are working. Whereas if you feel queasy every time you take the pills, you more likely are intolerant to the herbs itself. Starting your three-month protocol claims and the parasite cleanse. Below is a three month protocol. If you feel better or come up clean on a retest for parasites, then that's great. For me, three months was the right length of time for what seemed to be a pretty difficult case. For many people, you should only need the protocol for two weeks. So right. just listen to your body. Hey, Joe. We're going to skip that. Look, if you skip down to clearing toxins during your parasite cleanse. All right. Thank you. Sorry about that. So good. Um, as mentioned earlier, killing parasites can result in 
excess toxins in your body. So while doing your cleanse, it can be helpful to support the liver and enhance its ability to clear toxins. That way you don't end up with extra unnecessary harm to yourself. To help, with, to help the liver and the body detox, consider taking milk thistle supplements, calcium D, uh, glutarate, glucerate, NEC or left down and prefer a she prefer NAC to, to the other one because taking glutathione can tell your body not to produce its own. Next, eat bitter greens like dandelions, leaves, raw radishes, and mustard greens to promote more bile. Um, excretion and um, process toxins efficient, effectively, and be sure to eat uh, in a month. I had to tap the top and jump to the top. Sorry. That's okay. I'm trying to find out what this is the lipo seal, you know. Um, But it says be sure to uh, eat more rock, uh, veggies like broccoli, kale, collard greens, bok choy, and arugula. These uh, contain DIM, a substance that helps deliver detox effectively. You know, if your body is having a hard time detoxing, i.e., um, poor detox genetics like CRY or GST, or CYP or GST genes. Then getting in the sauna or steam room for 10 to 20 minutes three times a week um, can really help speed detox along. All right, um, let's stop there. I you know I don't I don't suggest all this shit. You know, um, the calcium D glucarate like the I, I shouldn't open those. I should just copy and see what they are I, I think these are like vitamins uh, and, and minerals to, to replace yeah that's cow it's basically calcium right so yeah calcium would be classified under vitamin d right um glucarate so you know let me see what is What is it? All right. Uh, is salt in the commercial form of glucarate acid, which naturally in food, apples, it occurs naturally in apples, oranges, broccoli, and spinach. Dude, get the fuck out of here. Stop. Don't. I, I, I don't suggest any of this shit. Just fucking eat broccoli, eat oranges, and eat apples. This. <laughs> <laughs> this is, is do you understand what this is the people of the prince and the commercialization of the fucking worm and the commercialization of these other things to fuck, right which leads to the prophecy of fucking farmica this this is what it is it, it, it think about it you eat all this fucking bacon you got heart disease what you got to do now medication all right so if I say a sentence and it sounds like it's going to lead to the medical field, you just go ahead and hit that keyboard and go, medication! Right? And then we just have this little choir, right? You just drink too much alcohol, you mess up your liver, you're going to need some what? Medication! And each time we go get higher and higher and higher and higher until we shatter some damn glass, right? Right? You eat too many sweets, and then you got your diabetes, and then you need your what? Medication! Or you just say insulin, right? Which means your body naturally produces insulin to what? Break up the sugars that come in apples and oranges and what? Right? Spinach isn't sweet, so we're not going to bullshit ourselves with that. And broccoli actually smells like butt, but we're not going to bullshit ourselves with that. Right? <laughs> so we should just think about these things. 
you eat a lot of broccoli, though. You smell it. You smell like fucking broccoli. Smell. Cooking broccoli smells like open ass. <laughs> it's bad. It smells like somebody with that fucking disease where of ass scratching. What is that? Blastocystis. <laughs> God damn it. Sitting there scratching his ass like a hominid. Right, right. You, well, why? You're fucking you're mimicking the actions of a goddamn dog or a cat. All right. So I would suggest... You know, again, man, you see what happened with me. I paid 102 out the fucking pocket for this shit. I didn't even buy the capsules. Everybody's taking this shit spoonful. Fuck them. Oh, I don't like it on my taste buds. Shut the fuck up or take the belt, goddammit. We're going back. We're going back in time. <laughs> fuck all this shit. I'm buying me a, everybody's buying guns and shit. I'm buying me a shield and a fucking whip. And that fucking bullet is the last bullet you shoot. I'm going to whoop your fucking ass with this goddamn whip. <laughs> I fucking lost their mind. I'm gonna make them lose some goddamn skin. So you know, somebody came over. They was like, "Hey, I got some problems, you know, some health problems." And I'm like, "Oh, and, you know, they put below the belt, you know." And I'm just like, "Well, you know, you eat pork." They're like, "No, I don't eat pork," you know. So I was like, "Well, went down the list of bullshit, you know. Do you eat cat and dog?" No, I'm just joking. I didn't say that. So we got to the point where I was like, "Do you eat seafood?" And then I was like, you know what? You might, you might want to look and see what, what seafood parasites you get. So I was like, typed in parasites from, and you know, the fucking computer was already listening. And she was like, I know you love me, Alex. And I'm just like, Allison, stop it. <laughs> fucking creepy. So it turns out when you sit there, and like, I was like, you know, I wonder what kind of shit they, they kind of, you go to an Asian hospital, what's going on in an Asian hospital? You know, what kind of diseases do they deal with, right? And so here's what's going to be going on there. They're going to deal with the herring worm or a herring worm disease, which is Anakin Skywalker kiss, right? I mean, <laughs> how do you say that? <laughs> Anisokiasis. Okay, whatever. And it's a parasitic disease caused by the nematode. Toads, nematodes, the worms that attach to the walls of the esophagus. Oh, that's fucking nasty. Oh, that's nasty. This is the esophagus. Oh, that's fucking nasty. Oh, huh. that's not phlegm. Huh. That's not phlegm. Oh, it won't come off, right? Or the stomach or the intestine. Oh, I'm going to throw up. I'm gonna throw up. The best way to prevent this disease is by avoid eating raw or uncooked fish or squid. Can you believe that shit? Mm, the whole fucking society is based on fucking raw fish, raw seafood. Oh shit. Like, oh boy, if anybody's going through it, they got, you got goddamn gills growing around. If I can't breathe, my, my esophagus has a beard growing inside of it. It's not a beard that's fucking uh, barnacles, bro. It's parasitic mm -hmm. barnacles growing inside your fucking throat. That's why you never see the people, the people over there kiss, right? Because fucking. <laughs> now let's go to Leviticus, right? <laughs> Do not eat these things. Why? Why? Can we not eat the cretaceous things, the crustaceous things, whatever they're fucking called? Because the herring worm comes and pays you a visit and never leaves. King of kings, host of hosts. And you pay money for raw fish and raw squid. So that's commercialization. Uh, and who benefits this? Well, I hold the keys to hell and I hold the keys to death. And if these diseases kill, they die from these diseases and you're unclean, why would God deal with your flesh if you were unclean? Full of worms. The worms crawl over thee. The worms crawl under thee. The worms Medication, the worms crawl through the medication, the worms are in the medication. But then, y'all like James Brown? Yeah! Wait, that's not James Brown. What the fuck am I doing? So, okay, so we deal with wormwood. We don't technically need medication. We just need bit of water and bit of herbs.
you put the bitter herbs on your bread so when the bed run through your track they eat on the bread that's covered with bitter herbs i hope y'all seeing he gave you medication in the old testament but a lot of people don't want to read what the medication for this is you don't got to be on this shit three months all you got to do is break this shit in some bread put a clothes pin on your nose so you don't sense your taste buds and eat the medication But you know, it's hard to reach the Negro. Cause he is stiff. All you gotta do is fast. You think this fat ass fucking society can fast? I'm thin and I can't fucking fast. I go the whole day without eating. I didn't say drinking. That's not fasting. I need a staple gun, mouthpiece, I should, we should do it, this is the arm connected to the right, I need a mouthpiece, staple gun, right, and some and, and a numbing agent for, for the outside, right, then, then we need four butterflies, well, we, we need some butterflies after that, when it all comes off, that is how, you know, how can I keep my, my mouth shut? This mouth open, something's coming out or going in. That's the problem with all of us. We have no discipline. That's why we all enjoy these goddamn shows where there's a master and a fucking student because we want a fucking master, but we don't want to admit it. Give us a king. You fucking ask for a master and you don't want to fucking follow what he says. Then he passes judgment on you and you resent him for doing, but this is what you wanted. In Toxoplasma, we learn from that young man teaching us this comes from cat poop. It tells us right here. I can't believe. Now, I we should start fucking gambling. Right, we should start betting shit. Like, see the next time we type this shit in, if it's gonna be up or not. <laughs> you get this from undercooked meat, and you can also get it from cat feces. Both lead to schizophrenia. That's what. He said 30% of the world, 30% of America or 30% of the world Who cares. How many other peoples and how many other nations sit there with fucking cats as pets? Right. And then how do you get this shit around? Where you got the guard dog around food, fucking licking everything, shaking his fur, flinging, licking his ass, flinging saliva. You see a dog wet, he shakes his fucking and water from him, goes 360. Even on the ground underneath him. You've seen those guard dogs they always got to sit there, fucking snot coming down the side of his fucking, uh, like, the, like the weirdest telephone wire you've ever seen in your life. Most people infected with parasite with the parasite do not have symptoms. The fucking world is goddamn crazy. They do have fucking symptoms. Stop yelling. This isn't serious. <laughs> Oh, what do we have on the plate next? Right? Again, they keep telling you, you're fucking eating this. So this isn't even infected food. It's from uncooked meat. Do not eat the blood. What happens when you when humans eat humans? You get cura, right? It's the same fucking schizophrenia. You lose your fucking mind and a new mind pops up. 
Subdivision. That's what that one actually is. Subdivision. It's not like you get two heads, nigga. <laughs> you just run around. <laughs> right half of the brain is me. The left half of the of the brain is nobody has taken over. Nobody has taken residence. Yeah, creepy bastards and the devils and demons. <laughs> That lady was right. The fucking parasites are demons. They get in your body this way. It's, just, it's becoming clear. When you can't control your shit, right? When they've affected the fucking, the, the, the blood-brain fucking barrier, it's over. A holistic approach to HPV and cervix. Okay, so we're going to take a little minute here. And uh, I'm going to ask Joe if he is in the moods to read Joseph's. Please go look at this one. Uh, see, this is. I was getting. I was thinking about naming this video why a bunch of Afro people are not in the medical field. And yeah, you, 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 you niggas can't keep their mouth shut. But there's you got your ancient Chinese secret. And, 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 how are these people ruling if not, you know, through secrets, right? Did you get the memo? All right, this, this is the joke in front of us all the time. How, how do you marginalize black people on their own land? Okay, so uh, last night my, mom, my, uh, my wife and I were in these discussions. And she brought that last... Uh, thing up and so I started uh, the last website the parasite cleanse and then I start asking questions about all these things such as the uh, the parasite the, from, from this animal the parasite from that animal that we aren't supposed to eat and then it's just you know then I start asking a different approach you know and so up came along HPV so then you say, well, what is HPV? HPV is uh, human papilloma V for virus, okay? So it says here you get HPV from having a uh, vagina, vaginal, excuse me, anal or oral sex with someone that already has the virus. It is the most common spread. It is most commonly spread during vaginal or anal sex. So why is that? Because if you're having oral sex, you can see, you have eyes, you're looking down there. So this is why all this is classified as sodomy, except for vaginal, excuse me. Um, so human papilloma virus. So, it is a common virus that can cause cancers later in your life. All right, so, Joe, you ready? Definitely. Go ahead. Um, so, most, most women are sufficiently low in most important nutrients, including those especially important for optimum immunity, immunity <clears throat> cervical health. Studies have found a number of these to be low um, in women, and women with cervical cancer, including fully vitamin A, selenium, vitamin B, and B12. Therefore, making sure you're getting enough of these in your diet by getting ideally eight to ten servings of brightly colored fruits and veggies with an emphasis on organic leafy greens and berries, um, important because of the high number of parasit uh, pesticides in these. <clears throat> and through appropriate supplementation may make a difference in preventing cervical changes and HPV from progression. Okay, let's stop right there. That's all we need. Uh, well, I'm going to tell you a little secret. They just gave everything away right there. They just spilled the beans on everything. By whatever do you mean? Okay, so what do we know about parasites? Okay, uh, ooh, 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 me, 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 me. Okay, go ahead. Uh, we know, we know the parasites. Uh, they eat the vitamins and minerals. Oh, good, good, good. 
so what's listed right here? Anybody? Anybody out there? Oh, me, 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 me. What? Okay, you, you. Uh, vitamins and minerals. So, now, now, if women sit there and eat fruits and vegetables all the time, right, because they make dinners and, you know, unless they're making shit in the microwave for you to eat, they're a healthy woman, you know, making foods that come with vitamin A, come with selenium, come with vitamin D, and come with vitamin B12. So what could be happening for them to say a sentence like most women are significantly low in, in, in these, it should say in many, but it should, it should actually say in these important nutrients. Well, what does this mean? It means that this is what they're feeding off of, the parasite called pap, uh, papilloma. Papilloma feeds off vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin B12, and selenium. And here it just says what? When you're low, right, cervical cancer starts to grow because the lack of folate. The folate is the B vitamin that naturally occurs in most or many foods. Your body needs folate to make DNA and other genetic material. And what is it? That's the reproductive material. See, you see what they're trying to do? Oh, your body also needs folate for your cells to divide. They don't goddamn divide. They multiply. So, I think there's a problem here. You know, technically they they, they add one for one, sitting back outside the box. And one one can see that the, the two times. Two is four. So, like when you add two and then it's four because the two each added one, like you see it's addition and, and multiplication. You see, we're ran by idiots because they want us to keep, they wanted to keep us a stupid so they could commercialize the poisonous beans. Yeah, they they want to keep us away from the source. It's simple. We, they want to make everything complicated. And here it is. One little paragraph tell you that what? The folate is in the vitamin B. They tell you it specifically loves B12 because this is what? This helps your reproductive organs. Wow. So that's why they're drinking this. They're drinking it up. See, when I'm sitting here trying to tell you, you know, you look retarded when you sit there and say, they sit there like a hamster drinking from the tap. That's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. If you're a woman and they need something from the man's body that they know that they can get from sex, they're going to drive you toward sex. Now, if we sit there and say what minerals are in ejaculation, sorry to take it there, and guess what it's going to say? So this is what it's fucking eating. The eunice of you. The uniqueness of being man or woman. And then once it's eaten or grown so fat, so far, it is no longer an alkaline vagina. It's an acidic vagina. It's a toxic vagina. And then in toxic mm -hmm. conditions, cancer can grow because then they become intercellular. And it's a virus at that point. Oh! So parasites can only go and attack your organs or your sub bay stations. And viruses are what? Intercellular, which means they can go inside the cell. So when you take this and you breed it with that and it's not supposed to be crossbred, you make a subspecies and the subspecies cannot do what the host with the main host performed at this point the parasite is the host the subspe okay we this is right recessive dna versus okay you see what i'm saying you can't draw a white atom because a white atom can't produce asians white atom cannot produce indians white atom cannot produce afro people But white Noah was magical. And see, this is how you tell they drunk. If they wanted to push whiteness, they would have stuck with Noah. 
Then you say black people from the stars, Asian people from the stars. Well, I'd say black people from under the earth because the Asian people already look like they're from the stars, goddammit. So that's how you would trick people. They didn't take that route because they mind play on levels of subdivision. So no. And then if they'd have told you Asian people from the stars, you'd already put together that they'd have made it with the sons of, the, of an act. And that wouldn't have helped them. So, and then they, they, they think the Garden of Eden's under the earth. And then that would be saying black people from the garden. So that, that wouldn't have helped them. So they had to say it how they said it, even though it's stupid. <laughs> so... It's all right here, and to cure this is is very simple. How do you cure HPV? Is there a special secret to HPV? Yeah, you got to eat some shit. You got to eat <laughs> seeds. And I'm gonna show you what you got to eat to get rid of this, since most women have this. And you see what they do? They take the hot guy and they give it to the Chad. And then the Chad go through town, and you think most of these women are, 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 but they're not. They're promiscuous. And then they sleep with Chad, and Chad doesn't give them a fucking friend, a special pet, a special pussy pet. Right? So they tell you, you need fucking fruits and vegetables without pesticides. Why? Why is it important to not have it with pesticides? What do the pesticides do to the vitamins and minerals? That's another kaboom right there. The parasite. Oh, man. You know what I mean? It mutates them. So, let's go a little further. What do you got on the screen? Papilloma. Papilloma is the most common STD. So you think I'm just sitting here saying shit, but I already pre-read all this shit, man. Come on, I like to call myself fucking stupid because it's funny. Nobody likes to be called stupid in the moment they do some dumb shit because that's not funny to the person to, that did it, to the host. But now, you know, you got to understand some things. It's not funny if you can't laugh at yourself. So all these peoples is running out and sleeping with each other's without condoms and this passing back and forth this stds all right the common sti what is an sti all right sexually transmitted infestation the fuck is sti anyway we're about 43 million hpv infections in 2018 um, that's just saying that yeah everybody Everybody in the world fucking went and checked in, checked in, Ch check, check my box. Is my box clean? Mm, no, I don't, I don't think so, dude. Uh, there are many different types of HPV, right? So again, it's, it's, it's subspecies, right? And it causes health problems like genital warts and cancers. Okay, so we got an answer for that too, right? So let's start off slow. Cause we need to start this car slow. If papilloma is papilloma a parasite, let's say papilloma parasite. So then, do you see the word parasite? No. All right. Blah, 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 blah. Is papilloma caused by parasites, right? It just say papilloma non cancerous epithelial prophylaxis caused by human papilloma. It just doesn't even tell you what it is. All right. It just tells you what it's named. Right, see the causes, right? It, they do not spread and are not aggressive. What the fuck are you talking about? We're talking about the same fucking thing here. All right, so let's go a little bit further. So we can see, like, that's not what, what you type in to get any answers. Let's get rid of that one and then let's see what comes up next. Is let's ask it like we're in sixth grade, dear robot, Android. Don't call me Android. Do not call me Android. Is HPV papilloma? You know, that's the oxymoron because the HP, the P stands for papilloma. Right? Is HPV papilloma a parasite? Now, watch this. What does it say? HPV is a virus, and as a virus, viruses are a microscopic parasite. What the? F Wait a second. Oh, you have a flu? You have a cold of flu? Flu is a virus. 
Are you telling me the fucking flu is an airborne parasite? Oh my goodness. See, they, they don't know what they fucking did here. Get the wrong fucking people to be feeding goddamn worms to. You find something? No, I was just saying. You know, you're sharing in the boom room. Oh, the virus? Yeah. yeah, man. This is once you start fucking Rubik's Cube in this bitch, it, it, once you say uh, fucking it's a virus and the virus is a microscopic parasite, that then you're starting to fucking say that every virus that fucking exists is actually a fucking parasite. And this now breaks the That's fucking mold. Know. Go ahead. What? That's exactly how they know. With, with hereditary diseases are because they know what viruses these people ain't cleansing from when they have them, they reproducing and having kids stuff like that so like you said when you were screaming out um medicine you gonna keep your kids on medicine you on medicine your kids kids on medicine if you don't never deworm or get rid of these parasites All right people are the prince in the commercialization of the worm and you'll keep needing them Need. That changed. That changed our whole culture when we say everything. Oh, oh, runs in my family. You know, we just learned that we just found a cure to all of that. You in the goddamn number one fucking society in the goddamn world, and your goddamn teeth rotting in your fucking mouth, and you brush them every fucking day, and you still wondering why. And they're like, "It's natural, nigga." How many people want to bet? It's a virus, a microscopic tooth virus that's sitting there eating the minerals of your goddamn teeth and they fucking know it because you'll just be coming back to this dental chair and paying me and I'll retire on how many patients did he see per year. And they take the good tooth and uh, they take the bad tooth and pull it out and they drill away all the bad stuff by putting it in the acid. And then they take what's left and they grind it up and then they, they take it and put that in a mold with 12 other people's remains of, of a good tooth. And they, they glue that all together and then some rich fuck comes and sits in the other chair and right, yeah, put that one in there and, and then, then they get an implant. Part of my tooth, part of his tooth, part of his tooth, part of her tooth, part of her tooth, and part of fucking your tooth. Because, oh, the commercialization of the worm. You don't need to work. Oh, I got these diseases. God damn it, I do need to work to pay for my medication. <laughs> pay, pay, pay. We'll, we'll find every way to tax you, your ass your heart, your liver. Tequila, eat the worm. You got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> the worm, the milk is worm, yeast is worm, enzymes. enzymes. Right? It's, it's all the same. Living in agents when they don't even tell you, right. they just tell you it's living in. I mean, baking powder's not. I mean, ba yeah. I mean uh, 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 baking soda. It's soda. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's alcohol. It's a salt. Yeah. Dude, they, got, they fucked us every way you could be fucked, man. They're making this shit up. They're giving you no goddamn fear porn. I'm giving you straight porn. It's in you. Go to the park barefoot. It's in you. Go have an ice cream cone. It's in you. It's the morning. You want some bacon? It's in you. You want some McDonald's? Uh, that's some different shit. It's in you, though. Can't, can't, I know, right? But can't go there. <laughs> but it, it's in there. <laughs> it's in you, though. <laughs> and at the end of the day, the pains and aches, you're going to start to need the medication. Are viruses a parasite?
site. Viruses are small, relatively simple, and fucking die from fucking viral infections. This is fucking simple. Microbes that cannot grow outside of living cells that are what? That are obligate and intercellular parasites. All praise and glory to the Most High. He has now shown us what it means to be the king of the kings of the earth and the host. All praise to the Most High. The fucking top form and the lowest form. He is king over the top form and the lowest form. And guess what he did? He said unto you, Lucifer, whom you peoples uh, that's called Christians that might have stumbled onto this video have been taught to call and teach others to call Jesus the Son of God, which is not true. He's actually the prince of the kings of the earth, and he is the host of hosts of the lower levels because the keys of hell, the keys of hell, you die to this, you die to this, you're mine, you're mine, you're mine, you're mine, you're mine until what? Judgment day. Who owns you? Nobody. Nemo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where did Captain Nemo go? Nemo was lost his seat. Where, where where Captain Nemo will go? It's gonna be very simple in, in a second. You don't need goddamn reality for this one, right? Because it's a it's fucking written in code. Cap Captain Kingman. Captain Nemo. And what is the fictional character Jules Verne's? And where does Captain Nemo go? This one is going to tell me. Oh my god. Help me. I don't want to pause this to say, didn't Nemo go to the center of the earth? I got the wrong one. Nemo, the fictional character, it just said right there, journey to the center of the earth. And where is Jesus supposed to be? In hell, keys to hell, keys to death. Captain Nemo owns us. Who owns us? Nobody. When you get into the goddamn law, nobody is the one that owns us, which means Nemo. Nemo went to the center of the earth. He's the goddamn captain of admiralty law. No one, no man. We own land being fucking ruled by Admiralty, the law, law of the fucking sea. Where the fuck is Nemo? He Admiralty can't show. Maritime. Huh? The sea. I said Admiralty Maritime. We're coming from the sea. Nemo can't set foot on fucking land. He got to flood the land to walk on soggy. Oh, shit. When the seven waters, when it smite the river, the seven waters, and you walk on dry shot. Nemo need wet land to walk. Nemo is Namor. They had, see, I'll be damned. I'll just be saying the goofiest shit that makes sense. I'm sitting here watching the fucking Justice League, right? No, we don't call it. It's a Flash movie. Flash movie is the greatest movie I've ever seen. Oh, man. Wow. Everybody talking about how bad that movie is. That movie's great. That that movie's great. Now, I'll tell you what. The funniest thing is, because it's, it's just a movie that makes fun of all the shit that's about the characters. And then they give you a real movie that's actually that's pretty serious. And it's just, it's still the same Flashpoint shit where there's, there's a Flash for another multiverse and, and that's the real problem. So, in the end, they show you Aquaman, right? And Aquaman, and you're sitting there thinking, well, if all these people making cameos, why didn't they have Aquaman in the movie? But, of course, in the movie, they're going to show you a giant desert scene. They're just fighting in the fucking desert. So they, what would Aquaman do in the fucking desert? 
nothing. This is why Nemo can't harm you in the desert. That's the last message that they give you. Aquaman, in the end, you do say, come up to my place. You crash on the couch. Aquaman falls in a puddle, a giant puddle, face down, breathing in the water. Looks up at him and says, I'm cool. This will be my bed. And for a minute, I sat there and said, you know, they, they just... They just dog these characters out in this movie. But you really have to look at it at an abstract way. Mancho is no longer in play with this shit. Okay? And I'm not going to go into this thing about, you know, the whole movie with that statement. I'm just going to stick with the whole Aquaman because Nemo can't harm you in the desert. That's why this Bible keeps telling us to go to the wilderness, go to the desert. You probably can't harm you in the wilderness because, you know, the idea of trees versus, uh, it, 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 rivers are carried into the desert. Fresh water, salt water, I guess, would be the argument. So, again, until this character decides to show itself in his, uh, his astronaut suit suit because he can't breathe the Earth's atmosphere, I'm pretty sure this is what the message is. Nemo went to the center of the earth, and again, where is Mount Olympus? The Olympians are under the earth. Now again, Sir Apis Crustus, son of Zeus, being one of the Olympians, and we read this Bible, uh, Jesus seems to have the same abilities. I live forever, I got the keys to Olympia. Now, we see he's covered with worms, so we have to start asking ourselves about everything to do with the worm and the parasite. Now, when you get these HPV, the usual telltale sign is a wart. Now, warts happen on people's bodies in many places. Now, let's learn about the wart real quick. Warts are skin lesions produced by the presence of human papillomavirus. You understand what that means? That means every wart you ever had, every wart anybody has, every wart you see someone with, no matter if it's on the forehead, on their eye, on their nose, on their mouth, on their chin, on their ear, on their forearm, on their face. Medication! Does no good. You saw what the other site said. They said topical use for wormwood has not been studied. Thy worm covereth you from Sea to shiny sea he shall be worshipped. Ladies and gentlemen, papillomavirus is, is just as out and about in the public as candida. So, let me explain something real quick. When you're on a natural diet, these things can't thrive in you. When you start drinking the bitter herbs and eating the fruits and eating the vegetables and nothing else, your immune system defeats these things because they are sick and they are poisoned. Why are the people, why are they doing this to the food? To weaken us and poison us to take us over so when you put these things in you it weakens the worms and your immune system is able to take them over now 
they want to tell you the papilloma virus on, on one page they will tell you the papilloma virus only is in your genital area or your mouth and it's only from sex but right here it says that warts are skin lesions so you know somebody in the comments can, can be well what about skin lesions oh motherfucker using neutral ain't you warts are skin lesions and they are produced by the papilloma virus which isn't a virus because viruses are really parasites i hope you understand when you go to the doctor for any of this if it's on google it's in the medical books if it's in the medical books, then all doctors should know this. When you go with diabetes, they should tell you, oh, it's not insulin, it's parasites. Do they? No. So that's the commercialization of the worm for their benefit. So your insurance company allows them to lie to you. So it's an insurance fraud on a large scale. This is why it's free free medical coverage in other countries. They're not part of the pyramid scheme. Once I learned that you could heal your teeth naturally, I began to hate my dentist. And when I figured all the rest of this stuff out, I'm sure people can, it's natural for man to think this way. It is the unnatural of man to go with his emotions and first thoughts. If this was a nigga on the street doing this, you would have killed him already. <laughs> and usually located on the hands, the soles of the feet, and genitals. On the other hand, there is a lot of skin parasites such as scabies. Lice, is he, huh? It's a like barnacles right there. See? This land barnacles. Same thing in the ocean. Living on the outside of fish. This is shit living on the outside of us, huh? <laughs> there are a lot of skin parasites. They ain't gonna sit there and say viruses. Huh? Ain't that something? They're robots. Well, you're, that's, you know, that, that's taking us away from the source. You gotta, you gotta understand what that is. That they, once people ask, understand that, they don't actually think is that something else because they feel like they understand what something is. It's just they don't understand this class been put into a subclass and put into another subclass when ultimately is redefining the main thing. Right, parasites feed off host. And these are the parasites, skin parasites, or scabies, or lice, or ticks, and fleas, which can infect different parts of the body. So ultimately, all of those things is parasite larvae that grown up to be adults, and they got different names for them. And can, can live out. These are parasites that can live outside of the body without a host. They attach to a host. And all of those things seem to be blood suckers. <laughs> well, it's right there. So they got a website, and it, uh, when I was searching this, they gave me an odd search cue. It's the secret cure for HPV. So right here, it, when you click on it, it don't even turn purple. That's that they they don't want people to know this shit. Okay, like like, and you see the same sign is gonna come up right next to it. <clears throat> I've already opened it this way. I don't know why it went back to blue instead of purple showing that I clicked on it. But it is what it is. And scroll down, you see nothing else is purple, right? But this is what I opened to click on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's HPV up. That's where we're going. My bad. Okay. All right. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Same place. Same thing. I'm wrong. All right. So you got this one. The... Uh, let me pause real quick and get this up.
Just scroll down to the uh to the herbs. Don't don't read any of this. Herbal um, treatment. Yeah. Top supplements um, for for treating HPV naturally include. Oh yeah. It's like halfway down the page. That's the one that says uh six supplements. Or anti no 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 wait that's antiviral. Antiviral. Yeah, anti I'm looking at the antiviral herbs of HPV. Where the hell is that one? Oh, did I didn't get that one up. See if you knew it. No, I didn't get it up. All right, not bad. Go ahead, start reading. I'll be up in a minute. There should, there should, is there a section with uh, uh, herbs? Yeah, it says herbal treatment against H HPV. Yeah, let's do that. Um, all right. Uh, herbal treatment may not offer a guaranteed cure for HPV. A number of herbs and plant extracts can boost, I mean, bolster your immune response to the virus. The following herbs are some of the most widely recognized for their potential to aid in the battle against HPV. Uh, in the root, um, a vibrant purple coneflower native to the prairies of the Middle Western, Midwestern United States has been used for, a, for its medicinal properties by Native Americans for generations. Um, as detailed in um, medical herbalism, the science and practice of herbal medicines which in treatment uh, encourages a generation a generation of white blood cells and lymphonics, uh, which processes the capability to com combat harmful microorganisms such as HPV. Uh, golden seal root, golden seal, a perennial herb belonging to the buttercup family was also a significant co uh, component of Native American medicinal practices. Traditionally, traditional applications of golden seal root includes wound cleansing, treating inflammation, and addressing skin conditions. Okay, hold on one second. So if you are a person in uh that happens to watch this video you want to get rid of hpv you know it has to do with your diet you have to stop eating meat you have to stop e eating dairy again it, 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 you're using parasites to feed parasites this is the point of the dairy consumption and when you amass so much dairy consumption it turns into candida now again uh, the Inchicha root, right? And it tells you it encourages the generation of white blood cells, right, uh, to combat harmful micro or so basically it's, it's, it's like, uh, you know, like it's cocaine for the white blood cell. Okay. Cause it, it, it what does it mean? It encourages it to combat harmful, maybe it's crystal meth for the white blood cell. It makes it go out and do something. It's not your white blood cells aren't going to win right away. Your white cells, blood cells have already been fighting this thing. All right, it, you have to change to an alkaline stance. Okay, you have to make your body alkaline. You got to get rid of cheese. You got to get rid of bread. None of this shit is any good for you. Make your own bread without any leaven agent. In this next part, it's going to tell you how to fight this war. Go ahead. Right. In today's research, I objectified the antibiotic, antiviral properties of this herb. Golden seal can be ingested or applied topical or gentrical wards, two gentrical wards, where it exhib exhibits efficiency in eliminating viruses. It is frequently paired with other herbs to synergize their meta um, medic 
Medical. <laughs> but this is new properties. <laughs> Hold on. So um, here it's telling you golden seal can be in ingested, and when it's ingested, it's usually paired up with other herbs. Now, aside from that, you can apply this directly to the wart. Now, again, the, this the, 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 it's the same as you you putting tampons on. Again, uh, the, I can't say that I know because I don't have a uterus. Uh, if if they're telling you you can apply it directly to your canal, they're they, they, they're telling you because somebody has experienced this. Go ahead. All right, chaparral leaf, the chaparral and evergreen shrubs, sporting yellow flowers, flourishing in Mexico and southwestern United States, indigenous populations in these regions have used chaparral leaves as a remedy for numerous viral and bacterial diseases, ranging from sexual transmitted disease, chickenpox, and tuberculosis. Oh shit! That's all of the, yeah. that's all of the weaponized viruses. See, of <laughs> see, I didn't even gotta say shit. <laughs> this fucking see this is the spell show this fucking uh thing was like made to go against the fucking air force base wasn't it <clears throat> i can't believe this you know this has got to be like my 10th like uh like uh medical video you know like i always think these medical videos are, 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 are like the biggest thing you know, since sliced bread right ha 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 fun ah Right. The yeah, current applications of chaparral highlights its potent antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal, and anti-tumor properties. As discussed in medical herbalism, it also serves as an efficient anti-inflammatory agent and boosts vitamin C levels in the adrenal glands. So, so, Mr. Gentleman, you have a penis. You have... Uh, a genital wart on your penis, whether it's this or that or chlamydia or something like that, it really doesn't matter. What you need to do is you need to put your, uh, get a blender, a grinder, uh, what is it, a, a pestle and a uh, whistle spoon and, and thing, um, and you need to uh, mix that shit. Mix that shit up, whether it's a blender or grinder or whatever, mix that shit up. Then you add some oil to that, and then every man is familiar with a goddamn condom. You're going to make yourself erect, and you're going to put that on in the, inside the condom, and then you're going to put the condom on. So it's directly on that while you're in the erect position. You got that in the erect position. You're going to get rid of that in the erect position. Now, I already told you. You use wormwood in the, the same amount that you would spice something. Now, this is just fucking hilarious, right? So you season the amount of a hot dog, right? And you put that in your pestle. And I forgot what it's called, the, the mixing, the mortar and pestle, right? And you, you mix that shit up. Then you add some olive oil. Half this shit is green, so it should look like a green goo. This isn't fucking hard. Well, no pun intended. Ha, 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 ha. But this is how you're going to get... You don't even need olive oil. Look, oil, leaf, extract. You already have a fluid to put with it. Go ahead. What you do? All right. <clears throat> uh, olive oil, olive leaf extract. Olive leaf extract is abundant. Uh, probably... Vitochemicals? Tri tri yeah, tritochemicals for millennia. For, for millennia, our ancestors have used these herbs to combat the common cold and flu, according to a 2005 study con conducted at seven. So what were they University. doing in Africa? The white man was walking around with leaves wrapped around his junk to get rid of the fucking diseases, because we're... God damn it, where did this fucking shit set goddamn primate disease, didn't it? <laughs> the fucking maps of 1500 show you who? Drawn in what? Crayon! Motherfuckers eating monkey brains. What do you think they did with the rest? The fucking just surfaced. They they arrested fucking people from from 
from Indonesia for what? Broadcasting. Monkey fights, monkeys, sex. The people that were, were receiving this were in Australia, Europe, and America. You're not telling me it's a sting operation. <coughs> That's your dark web for you. Um, go ahead, sir. Sorry. According to a 2005 study conducted at Southern Cross University in Australia, uh, olive leaf extract possesses potent antibacterial, antifungal, and anti-inflammatory properties. Fresh olive leaf extract demonstrates an antioxidant capacity nearly double that of green tea extract and 400 times higher than that of vitamin C. Okay. So, so we, again, when we read that other one was uh, this shit was drinking A, B, I mean, A, yeah, A, A, D, B12, and the one we looked up said it had, fuck, it was a synthetic vitamin C. Yes, astragalus. Astragalus is a traditional Chinese medicinal herb that often, it offers antioxidants antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory effects, thus strengthening the immune system and enhancing the body's ability to ward off viral infections, including HPV, AHCC, and shiitake mushroom. What Herbalism. That. Uh, I'm curious at this abbreviated word, A A A A H C C. It makes me think it's some kind of a uh, synthetic bullshit. So uh, if it's synthetic, it's just good. Yeah, it's a fucking, it's a antiviral fucking uh, synthetic. Uh, look at they leave it for a prescription. They want fucking two hundred fucking dollars for that shit. Almost, I mean, two eighty, two eighty nine. Uh, this this is gonna be the top dose. Right? Oh, that's a multi package. Okay, okay, okay. It's just sixty dollar package for H H H C. Yeah, it's just it's synthetic mushroom. That's all it is. Yeah, you, you know, I don't know you if it's yeah. I don't know if it's the extract. It's it seems like it's uh, synthetic. Uh, yeah, here it's a active hexose. Fuck no. You already put a fucking hex on me. See what the goddamn I'm doing? Curing the hex they put on you with another hex. <laughs> Who in the fuck would sit that's, that's a double cross. All right. All right, the shemak. <laughs> the shemak across <laughs> the fucking face. All right? All right. Look at this, man. All right, it's a correlated compound is an extract derivative from shit take so they fucking said this is what makes up shit, shit take on the compounds we can make that with bleach nah man you know what i'm saying don't if if they fucked you with one and they're fucking they're, we can fix it with farmica no your farmica is just stripping the plant, and it's not even like you're taking it uh, the, that, that, the, the actual mushroom and extracting the mushroom, and you're selling me a vial of the mushroom juice. That's not what's going on. You're sitting here saying, this is made of metal, and I can simulate it in plastic. That's, that's what's going on. People, people don't want to to admit it. Again, if you're sitting there saying I'm gonna eat nuts and fucking berries, then why would you why would you get any? You go to the doctor, he's gonna give you a prescription. That prescription is a fucking synthetic version of the real mineral and the real vitamin. Am I against them? They are against the world, the people of the prince, and the commercialization of the fucking worm. I'm not the one that did this to people's vaginas. When you study herpes, it comes from the fucking lizard. It's a lizard disease. In fact, I'm willing to bet. 
you can reverse math all of these diseases and find out after we done seen this one shit come from primates and this other one comes from fucking seafood they're coming from environments it's diseases from environments of from what animals should not be doing and then it's from man eating what he shouldn't be doing. See, I question, why does the scripture say God gonna judge animals? Why? That don't make sense. Animals are supposed to be stupid, but they're not. Animals are supposed to be <laughs> wild, but they're not. They have laws, they have rules. If they break these rules that they're supposed to stick by, they're fucking diseased by the worm. How many animals done saved a person? They can't be that dumb. Exactly. How many times can you fucking type in uh, animal ask for help? They already know a sign language. Each fucking animal already got some kind of sign language to say to man or to human, please assist me. If the animal is dumb and it's, you know, clearly can't speak your language, but it damn it, it damn it can, um, damn sure can understand it. Any animal can any understand any language of the person that domesticated it. Every, every, every goddamn cat understand come here in fucking Korean, in fucking Chinese, whatever fucking area it was born in. If it don't understand it, it's learning it because you're doing the hand gesture. You got fingers, not claws, but it still understand what you're doing with your fingers. They know how to hunt. They know how to get exactly what's good for them. But, you, but just dumb animals. <laughs> A dog can sense your emotions and knows how to please you. If it's that breed. Mm -hmm. An alpha, a alpha dangerous dog is going to know if you, if you got a, a drop of fear in you and it's going to exploit that. They're sub-wolves. Subcategories of wolves. Mm -hmm. So go go ahead, continue. Let's skip the A A C C, and then you know just. I mean, just go, keep reading. But you know, to the viewer, right. I would skip the the the, the you know. Yeah, yeah I got you. Lab grown shit. <laughs> Herbalism includes much more than herbs, as it also includes roots, barks, seeds, and mushrooms. The field of research has revealed the beneficial effects of mushroom extracts. Especially beta glucans, 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 um, which provide an array of health benefits. These benefits range from boosting the immune system to uh, guiding against brain de degeneration. All right, we're going to stop with that one right there. Thanks. I, I, I... I appreciate that, you know, because we ain't got so again, we go to warts and we find out how's the last one we did. And this comes up with the secret cure. And hey, you still got those fruit codes up there? Can you or can you type in organic fruit code? I didn't click on anything yet. Um it's an organic fruit code. Yeah. yeah. PLUs. PLUs. Which one did I go to before? Let's see. I saw one was good. I sent that off. To... Oh. All right. Consumer report looks good. Consumer report. You see the consumer report one? I'll send it to you. I got it up right here. Consumer report. Huh? No, I'm sending it to you right now. Now let me, there we go. I was getting some fat thumbs syndrome. All right, what do PLU codes say about your produce? You know those little stickers on fruits and veggies? 
They are called price lookup codes, and they contain numbers that cashiers use to ring you up. But you can also use them to make sure you're getting what you pay for. Here's what you look for. A five-digit number that starts with a nine means the item is organic. A four-digit code begins with a three or a four means a product is probably conventionally grown. For example, regular small lemons sold in the United States are labeled 4033. Large area, I mean large R, 4053. Small organic lemons are coded 94033. Large R, 49053. So the five-digit code starts Go ahead. Yeah. Huh? I was trying to interrupt for a second, but I said no, never mind. Go ahead. Uh, uh, a five digit code that starts with an eight means that means the item is genetically modified. It has genes from other organisms. <laughs> you won't see many <laughs> you won't <laughs> see? Again, let me ask everybody a question real quick. Well, oh, if you're yeah, sitting yeah. there trying to buy a fucking apple, why would you want an apple and uh, the worm? Salmon. <laughs> right? What'd you say? Apple with salmon DNA. Right. Right. You say fucking apple. Now you got Alaskan apples. That yeah. doesn't make no sense, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Yeah, any fruit from fucking out of anything growing in Alaska, right? Hey, this was grown on the day that we get very little sun. Right, wait, 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 don't they get a... Oh, it's darkness, yeah, it's very little, yeah. Okay, so, so, so people can kind of see what's going on, man. You know, you're fucking... These, these things are, are, are not... They're, they're fucking science experiments, which means they're experimenting on the public without the public's consent. Again, when you go to buy an apple, you think it grew on a tree naturally. Nobody goes to the a, a, buy an apple that grew in a fucking indoor grow room with green uh, 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 with, with fucking neon lights on the floor. Or nobody, nobody fucking uh, nobody does this. So why would someone think to do something like that? And then what do you mean by other organisms? See, this is the whole catch to it all. We should understand what the Most High is showing us with all this. If you're going to do it, you have to do it the right way. You can do it good or you can do it bad, but it's still the right way. If you look for these shortcuts and look in every field, this is why regulations were created. This is why we're in the age of deregulation. Regulations are created for a standard to be. When you do not keep the standard, the laziness will set in. Once you get lazy for so long, then you get behind. Then you look for shortcuts. When you start to say apples grow in a specific season, but if we take them indoors, uh, we can grow them faster. That gets you a little bit ahead. Now you're playing the game of catch up still. And now somebody else comes and says, well, we got this new idea. If we start doing this to the, the production of animals, we'll get a higher production of milk and meat. And then you had this growth rate in cancer in the animal and in the people that digested the animal. Now they say we need a new way to get ahead again. Dude, we don't realize we're already caught up. They don't want us to know we caught up. Every fucking store now is overregulated. And with the overregulation, it says. You put this chemical in it, and it will last for this long, then it must be thrown out. Now, things that should last three days last two weeks, and you go to every store, they got a bunch of fresh product thrown in the garbage. 
now those same people that control the food started controlling the products now they control all these different types of store so much so you go to the fish store if they feel they have an overproduct of fish or they they no longer carry this want to carry this fish they tell the employees to go throw them in the trash out back that fish doesn't have an expiration date does it is it a hybrid fish or is it a real fish why are they dumping fish that still have heart beating in the trash at pet stores are they product so you know it's it's all starting to show soon people will learn what these codes mean and everyone will buy the five digit code that starts with nine and then the only thing that you'll have in these stores is this junk that start with four the four four digit codes or the nine uh, a five digit code that starts with eight here's the fuckery of it they know what they're doing because they want to take the way they want to take away the stuff that gives off high minerals or that's anti uh parasitic or anti viral anti fungal anti dares now listen close to what this again if people have any problems the words are right here on the screen read it at the same time you're learning it twice this is the key to these genetically modified things is to mutate now you're gonna have here fucking vitamin fucking z vitamin q what the fuck is that oh it's a mutation of fucking d <laughs> and if they could uh, put pesticides and stuff in plants and then drain uh juice the plant and, and still be pesticizing and so what do you think will happen if they gmo some food and then we eat the gmo food and it's gm is genetically modifying that 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 item we eat? and what do you think it's going to do to us but you get a shot of poison each 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 sip right each container will hold what the uh federally acceptable amount of of the pesticide unless you know, they're all from the same hmm? Ashkenazi background and they hide that information. <laughs> if they promote, if, if that's, what other fucking company do they even sit there and say existed since World War II besides Monsanto? There's any, any company that's ever had their fucking hand held the, the, the whole fucking time it's Monsanto. So that's when they turn the atrophine on the corn. And we know that by heart. We don't use any corn products, no corn syrup, no fucking, no Doritos, nothing like that. Go ahead, you ready? Yeah. Um, Five years ago, it starts with eight. Yeah, the five digit code that starts with the eight means that your item is genetically modified. It has gene other it has genes from other organisms. You won't see many of these products. I mean you won't see many of the, those because only genetically modified versions of corn, soybean, canola, cotton, papaya, and squash are now widely sold. Do you see what just happened? Genetically modified means it has genes from other organisms. It's a Trojan horse. So why wouldn't they use a pig when they modify something? Pig genes in, in fruit, pig genes in vegetables. They got fucking, they got a new grape called cotton fucking candy. Hmm? Yeah, got donut shaped peaches out here. It, it, it's gone too far. 
Listen, I'm reading the Bible to you, and you don't, you don't, you rarely think, dear viewer. I read these Bible scriptures to you. You rarely think fucking Exodus. Tell me, I don't tell you all the fucking foods poison and show you how they poisoned it. And show you how it connects to the Tell me in the back of your mind, your fucking ass ain't kicking yourself in the fucking head saying, Exodus, we need to leave. I didn't ask and say anything about where we're gonna go. That's a ridiculous fucking question. That's ridiculous. I just asked you when you hear this shit, when we keep covering this stuff about food and about worms and about your health, do you, do you, do you in the back of your head, does the voice start talking about Exodus? I'm sure it should after they see this and they go in a grocery store and see how much stuff actually got in line out of the fruits. It's not many. Not many. At least in my area. Not many. And I done, and then, and I done traveled a lot of places in America and been on like projects to where I was at in different towns throughout America for months at a time. There's not many non products in a lot of different stores across America. All right. Go ahead, man. You ready? Yeah. Um and because PLU codes aren't mandatory, companies are companies can label those items as convention. The problem is that Although an estimated 60 to 70% of foods sold, I mean, food items sold include packaging, packaged goods have genetically modified ingredients. Little is known about the long-term effects of consuming them, and concerns have been raised about an increase in allergies and other health issues. Yep. Yep. See, that's, that's you know what that shit is? I, I don't eat shit because it's a bioengineer. See, the fucking robot know exactly what I'm writing. I mean, you only go you get so much out of B B I O E, but bioengineered <laughs> food ingredients are food that it contains detectable genetic material that has been modified through in vitro recombination. In vitro is so, and then with ultimately, if if you chimera is something that's what it is this is a franken food abominable food abominable abomination to eat an abomination fuck man the in vitro is fucking oh man see again even by the definition man it's the process of taking in a test tube a cultured dish there's your goddamn dairy or elsewhere outside the living organism all right, see again. So they take something out of somebody living and they fucking put it in some, why? Now you have to ask why. And what are they bioengineering it with? And you already know, but you don't wanna fucking say because why? Because you, you don't wanna admit you've been feminized. If you sit in fear of saying words, that's goddamn pussy. Nobody online is in fear that somebody gonna come and beat them up. You in fear that they gonna shut you down. So, What do you think they're putting in there, Lex Will? Well, of course, man. Fucking H B X. <laughs> Another hex. Little baby. Deuteronomy. I will make you eat your fucking children. <laughs> How? Well, they'll go missing. And the remains will end up in Prada. <sighs> What happens in an abortion? Pepsi Coke. <laughs> That's what. The choice of a new generation. You don't understand this motto, do you? You don't understand the slogan yet, do you? 
I don't remember them in the 50s arguing about abortion. Uh, I didn't live in the 50s, but I mean, they sure gave us a bunch of stories about co-hangers and shit. But I did hear arguments of eugenics. And I know a lot of money that I will never accumulate in this modern time went into eugenics in the past. Human embryonic kidney HEK293 is a cell line commonly used for biopharm, pharma, biopharmaceutical, and medical research and therapeutic solution. See, that's how they sold it to you. We'll go in here and take these things for therapy of people that have been injured. But now, it's in pharma, basic medical research. What the fuck do you mean, basic medical research? So now, we're using the, the kidney of aborted fetal cells in the basic medical research. What could be so important about the kidney, let alone a kidney of a embryo? Oh, that just depends on what stage of development it's in, right? You know why they're taking growth from the kidney? No. Why from the womb? No. The only answer that seems valid is mm, those cells are in a stage of multiplication. Which what means could be stem cells, dude. Maybe, but uh, I don't know. I've seen movies like The Blob and uh, Akira, where the cells are, are, are told to grow and never stop growing. I've seen movies that show characters like Groot. Uh, I've seen, I've read comics like uh, the, 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 the Rubber Band Man, Elastic Man, and uh, Fantastic Four. Um, these people seem to be attacking or stimulated by childhood uh, uh, pop culture. I'm not just some idiot that sits there and thinks this reminds me of these things. It seems to be what, what they're trying to utilize it for. A kidney grows to a point, and just like everything else, why the kidney? I can think that on the back end, not the reason why it's in food. The reason why it's in laboratories, if you add the kidney cell of, say, say, say there's a special cell from a child's kidney that they find, and then you combine that with the cell that can't, that can defeat cancer, then that, then, and then you can program, once, once, once you combine it with the cell that can, can be programmed, you're going to think you can grow to a certain mass and control it. But the minute it finds a rip in the tissue, it's going to keep growing at an exponential rate. And that's going to lead to something like the movie Akira, where you have someone growing an appendage that becomes a giant serpent. And that's really what it is. It's the birth of a serpent through the human being the host. It, it seems pretty evident what they want to do. I mean, it's, it's the plot of fucking G.I. Joe Soprantor. Look at what they just did. They just found, ooh, we just suddenly made a breakthrough. It's 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 CRISPR. Right? But they've been doing this with fucking dude's name and his goddamn children, A35 experiment numbers. Why? Because once they're cloned at that point, they, they, they fucking they, they, they just, they fall apart. Look at these people that have their hair falling out at 20 years, uh, 30 years old. It's the obvious sign. They're going through organ failure. Now it gives, what are they looking for? Fucking regrowth. Because the cells are in a state where they can't reju rejuvenate every day when you sleep, like me and you. When you sit here and say they're trying to get around death, 
picture forms. That's what all this shit is. That's what the Freemasons want. They think they can get around death, but the more they poison their body, the more they don't have control of it. Just like the people in the public don't have control in the, of their mind, they are led by their cravings, which means that the parasites have taken over that body. They're keeping a rhythmic time of day-to-day -day shit. Well, why? Because they have to earn money to feed the parasites in them. Now, we go back, we were, we, were we at the end of that one? No, oh, we were at the PLU. Okay, you ready? Sorry. Um, where were we, where were we at? Oh, we're, we're, at, the, we're, we're at, at the internet. We're at the end? Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, so, yeah, people, I hope you understand what these modified ingredients are. Again, when you're not supposed to have something and then they're putting it inside an, an apple. This started for me with uh, fish, the little fishy crackers. It said this product is bioengineered. I just said it's fucking crackers. What do you mean? Why? Mm -hmm. The simplest thing. And it, it, yeah, it just piss you off. I encourage you to flip your packages over. I can't. Listen, we had a plan that I cannot go upstairs and get one, not a one package that say bioengineered, not a one package that got corn or corn syrup, and I got. Not, no packages that got EDTA, that's goddamn, that's aluminum. That shit was in the deodorant. Now they put it in food and saying it's for freshness. The same shit that they put under your goddamn armpit is in fucking food now for freshness. You fuck that mother. Shouldn't have been in need. EDTA, right? Food ingredient, right? And here, EDTA, let me type this shit in. Right, some kind of ethanol mm. dye, nigga, mine property now, acetic. <laughs> but it sure don't say alkaline, do it? Acetic. <laughs> A medicine that is used in the management and treatment of heavy to metal toxicity. Okay, that's what it says. Okay, so what? What is it? We'll, we'll click what is it really now it, it don't as you say it's a cleaning agent you ain't never heard of a cleaning agent right it's a cleaning agent is a claw like substance that can grab and stick other molecules isn't that interesting they want you to put that in your body they want you to release claws into your body, right? And this is what they claim. It's not like a parasite. This is what they claim. Some people have an allergic reaction to EDTA. Oh, okay, right? Other serious side effects have, this is what does EDTA do to your body? You, you, you would expect this to be a beneficial fucking paragraph, right? The first thing they say is allergic reaction. The next reported low blood sugar, how does somebody know that? They have to go to the hospital because they're about to fall out. Diminished calcium levels, so what is the EDTA actually attacking? Your blood sugar, your calcium, it's giving them headaches, nausea, dangerously low blood pressure, that is right. So see, you go right into the blood. Kidney failure, organ damage, irregular heartbeat, seizures, even death. It's in fucking food? Why? Huh? It's common. In, uh, ingredient in cosmetics and industrial products. Right. But it's a great food preserver. Yeah, because you fucking die. Formaldehyde's a good pr fucking pr preserver. 
You don't see me dabbing my fucking biscuit in that shit, do you? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Oh shit. Ugh. However, like many food additives, it has become quite controversial. Why? Why would that happen? That doesn't make any sense. Because of its applications. What do you mean? Industrial products? And 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 side effects. Oh. You mean like like your fucking blood being stripped of shit, right? Oh. So. Next time you're at the store. You don't know my name. <laughs> don't tell him I sent you. All right, because this is the goddamn commercialization of the worm. And and fucking blood spikes. I mean, it's it, that's like that is like driving down the fucking highway, having a t-shirt gun that can shoot ahead of you, and shooting spike blowout fucking tires and cars ahead of you to cause a pileup that you will eventually be in. Could you imagine if if, if people knew? EDTA was in their fucking food and deodorant and it seeps into your skin and it acts like a claw and it starts ripping up things that it shouldn't. You're told it takes this, but in reality, it, fuck, it takes your blood sugar and other things. Completely rips you up. That motherfucking shit said even death. Huh? Fuck that shit, go get over Get back here. What does it do to your body? Even death. Where is the paragraph of this? Is it, it, it benefits? Is it a safe ingredient? Uh, for most people, they're strong enough that they don't have enough claws running through their blood system to, 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 to what? Rip your fucking arteries open? You start squirting blood in your muscle tissue and your fat lighting. <laughs> the safe finger. Where is the benefit? I mean, this is, we will end this now. Yeah. Benefit. Oh, it's for skin, huh? Okay. It is used to treat acute or chronic lead poisoning. You remember, they used to have those goddamn commercials about lead poisoning from paint. Now it's Cant Lejume, right? It used to be lead poisoning from paint. <laughs> from the Greek word fucking to claw. <laughs> A claw-like molecule structure. It claims it b binds to heavy metals and toxins like, uh, like sugar, right? <laughs> like fucking sugar, right? It it gets rid of heavy. It gets rid of toxins. Where does shit go? Oh shit! Where the fuck did that go? Oh, it did a flippies. All means did some shits. Was it? Oh, it did it again. You keep doing that shit. That's okay. Where's it go? It, it fucking heavy metals and toxins as it fucking rips your blood sugar in half, right? It diminishes your, your calcium, right? That's bone. You need that calcium for strong, healthy bones, right? Gives you fucking headaches. Why? Because the amount of blood in your head gives you nausea. Oh, it's just taking out heavy metals. It didn't even fucking say or where. How does it take it out? It's just a fucking claw. All you're doing is releasing a claw. How does it take it anywhere? You 
So in fact, what would a claw do to something? It would, it would, it would cut it. It would slice it. It would cut it in half. So it's actually a fucking cell divider. Kidney fucking failure. Because in reality, you're supposed to piss out these things. The blood deposits them in the what? The bladder, then it's taken to the kidneys unless it gets stuck, and then you piss it out. So what do you think the claws do to, to your urine, uh, to, to, to your urine straw as you're pissing out all these fucking things that you're supposed to be keeping in? So you're supposed to be keeping your blood sugar, uh, but it's hooking it, and then you're pissing that out. Right? It damages your organs when it goes through you. It fucks your heart up when it goes through it. Fuck. When you, the blood that goes to your nerves give four seizures. Yeah, but this will keep this bread fresh for two weeks. <laughs> Praise the Most High for giving us the wisdom and strength to, to do this. Shall I, everybody? Go ahead. I said, oh, please, more time. Shall I, everybody?